Hello everybody, welcome to Adobe Live. I am Spencer Nugent and this is part six of my eight part series where we've been designing a poster and talking about some concepts related to design. We're going to jump into Illustrator and now take the line work that we've created and add some color to it. We started our journey with this quick rough sketch layout. Then I focused on applying a certain style to these designs inspired by something I'd created before and we came up with designs for each of the characters. With the designs of the characters done, I was able to move on and now using Shape Builder, create shapes that we can then add color to. You can hit Control Y or Command Y on the keyboard and that will give you a preview of the paths that you have drawn. Select Shape Builder, make sure all your paths are selected. And as I hover over the selections, I can simply click and drag and combine areas that I want to combine into one shape. To remove something like this little element here, simply hold Alt, click, and it's now removed. And we can quickly combine these shapes and paths into regions that we can then add color to. This is really important if you're going to be using color after you've taken the time to apply line work and line weight to your design. Additionally, I've created this file that you can play with. You can download this file and we're going to be using this through the demonstration today to show you a few concepts. Select all the paths in one of the groupings, enable shape builder, and now I have the ability to combine these shapes. To remove these shapes, simply hold Alt, click and drag, and they are now removed. Click and drag, and now all of this region here, this blob becomes one shape. Maybe these are all one region. It's very easy to create a design from these overlapping shapes. And now I should be able to select all of this assign the default appearance by hitting D and each of these regions are areas that I can select and apply a color to. As you go through this process, you might find that you want to maybe find some color inspiration, however. For color inspiration, I love to use Adobe Color. If you don't know this, Adobe Stock has tons and tons of images that you can use for inspiration or part of your design. You can license images for free if you select under the search dialog here, free. But there are also regular images, video, audio, and so forth that you can use in other things. Selecting the free option and typing in the search under C, I have a few images here that I can use for inspiration. And now I can simply upload an image into Adobe Color by dragging and dropping. And Adobe Color has picked some colors from this image that I might want to use in my theme. Let's go ahead and pick a more vibrant orange and we can also color extract using moods that are on the left side here. Another great way to find color inspiration is to use something like Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly is Adobe's generative AI product that allows you to imagine pretty much anything. And you can do this just by entering some text. So I entered Jamaican Carnival and these were the images that popped up. And I absolutely love the vibrant colors that Firefly has presented me here. So let's take one of these images. And now this image is a part of my assets that I can use in Adobe Color. And in my downloads folder, I'm going to select Firefly Jamaican Carnival. And now I have some options that I can pick from. I select my recents and here I have the color themes that I generated from those images. So it's a really fun way to generate a few colors that you can use in Illustrator. A simple trick that I like to use to colorize everything quickly is to select a path in the front of your illustration and select one in the back. Make sure the color in the back is say a color from your theme. Let's go ahead and select this brown, apply it to our path. And on the front color here, we can select this red and apply it to the path as well. Select all the paths in this square area and now select edit, edit colors, blend front to back. Select edit, edit colors, and we're going to go to recolor artwork. Now select advanced options. And here I have my Jamaican carnival theme. I can simply click on this and now my artwork gets recolored with those colors. So this is a fast way to apply colors to paths that you may have generated using Shape Builder or Pathfinder or things that you may have drawn on your own. This file will be available for you to experiment with and play with. So feel free to dig in and see if you can come up with some interesting shapes. With outline mode enabled, you can see here that I have several paths that are overlapped. I've gone ahead and clicked Clean those up and now I can apply colors to these characters. For example, this face, I'm going to select this brown color and maybe her shirt is this green and of course we want to color the hand appropriately. 
So going through this process, I can quickly just apply colors to the design. And now my characters are starting to come to life. This tends to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to speed things up and just show you kind of how I work. Now that I've selected the colors for my characters, I want to give them a little bolder outline. The easy way to do this is just select everything here, and then we're going to copy these. Go ahead and paste your characters or objects onto a new layer. Then we're going to go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. Now when I zoom in, you'll see that the stroke along with the path and the color inside are kind of expanded. Go to Pathfinder and select Unite. And now we have the outline of all the shapes here on our canvas. You might have some white spots or areas that aren't exactly what you want. Simply zoom in, use the direct select tool to select an anchor point and hit delete twice and it should fill in just fine. Select everything and you switch the foreground and background color. In your stroke palette, assign a heavier stroke. Remove the inside fill color and then simply turn on the layer underneath and we should have a nice thick outline. Now that my characters are done, I'm going to put them into another file, create a new file and enter whatever dimensions you want. Hit create. We'll go back to our file here, select everything. Make sure you have unlocked the layer and jumping into our new file, zoom out and paste. Now, if I'm going to scale this, I could simply select everything. Click on one of the corners of the bounding box, hold shift and scale. However, when I zoom in, you'll notice that the stroke proportion for my design is slightly off. Go to your preferences by hitting command K or control K on the keyboard. And you'll see an option here in general to scale strokes and effects. I'm going to select that, hit OK. And now when I scale, everything should proportionally update so that my design is preserved as I change the size of the overall thing. And now with everything selected and grouped together, I can change my setting to align to artboard, which means that now with this all selected, I can center my design on the artboard itself. And there you have it. I've created an alphabet of characters representing designers and artists. We've pulled shapes out of overlapping paths using the shape builder tool, found color inspiration using Adobe color and now applied that color to the designs on our artboard. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining. I had fun as always. And if you had fun, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel here. I'm easy to find online. I am at sketchaday.com on Instagram, or you can visit my website at www.sketchaday.com. Just don't forget the dashes. All right, take care and we'll see you next time.